Hello, hello, lads and girls. This is Load Kicker, and welcome back to another episode of PC Building Simulator. And it's time for us to do some shopping. So let's see. Hey, hey. I'm starting a new lab gossip blog, and I need a computer to write it on. Takes too long to do it on my phone. Even if it's a Blackberry. So retro, I know. Not got much money. So just something that can manage logging will do. Under 500, please. I'll be sure to give you a plug in the site and all. Case. Games. <sighs> Dubmore. Celebrity blogger. Jameson. The Red Erpter. Dot LiveJournal. Dot com. Wow. Okay, so... Let's just see, what's the cheapest things we could get? It's like, I mean, that's kind of where we need to go with this, since it's only 500 bucks, so... We need to go super cheap. So that would mean a... Celeron? I mean, if I can, that's what I'm going to upgrade, though, because I eat them with a bloody passion. <laughs> okay. Okay, so that's just the cheapest I could go. And with that, I have... 175 left. I mean, I would like to get up to a SSD, though. Thing is, should I prioritize that? Okay, this one is 60 bucks. That isn't a whole lot more. It's 40 bucks more. Okay. I mean, I still have a hundred and thirty five bucks left. So let's see, what kind of CPU could I get for well, nearly two hundred? Oh, yeah, and I also need to make sure it is. I like. Yeah, that is five bucks over. Um, so not a sixty-six hundred K. But perhaps a sixty-six hundred. Yeah, that would be the perfect amount. Look, well, it does say that I have one. Okay. 
Yeah, I do, and it's brand new. I also have an i5 6400. And I also have an i3 6100. Although I think I would rather have the i5 though. So that would bring me up to 4 cores, which is something I feel more comfortable with. Although the i3s are way better than the Pentium and uh, Celeron. I mean, it's like a different league. Okay, let's go with the one I have and see what I can do with it. But I mean, it looks like we can do it for sure. Okay, rig is broken. Hey, so I broke my PC the other day. It's a bit of a mystery. Can you figure out what's wrong? Um, pretty sure I saw sparks or fire or something. I won't turn on now. I just want my computer to work. It's not as quick as it used to be. It seems to be the dust inside. Best Vanessa. <sighs> okay, so sparks. It could be motherboard or it could be power supply. be multiple things too though yeah so I think I'm just gonna accept this and have a look at it honestly fix I hear you work with computers so I broke my PC the other day uh, you'll need to diagnose what's wrong with it I was trying to put it put in a new CPU cooler and I think I broke some RAM. Those things are huge. Could you repair the RAM? Could you get that done by two days? You like cable modding? I saw some great plastic orange the other day. I've never cleaned it out. Is that okay? M. Duffel. Well. It sounds like I got some broken RAM. So let's see, you got a 4 gig stick. I think it was 2666, yeah. And we got a budget of 60. So we could upgrade the speed and get Corsair Dominator. I mean, it will be the same size, but it will be a bit faster. I don't know if the motherboard will support it, but yeah, I guess we'll we'll see. I mean, seeing as we got such a low budget, I'm pretty sure that's the only thing that's broken. A job for you, bespoken PC. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> hey. If I don't get a new computer soon, I am going to scream. All my mates are playing Sail Away, the sailing simulator. And I want to play too. I worry about used parts. Have you heard of Asus? They're meant to be pretty good. Hope you can help. A. E. Waters. Old Waters. Full sail. Okay, well, we got a budget of 2,000 years. I'm pretty sure we're going to be able to make some pretty good stuff here. Uh, right. Uh, will it run? 
sail away. The sailing simulator. Okay, so that requires to have an i7 6700 at the least. Other than that, it doesn't seem too demanding. Okay, uh... I mean, I guess we could go a little more hardcore than that, though. Uh, let's see, do I have any Asus graphics cards? I do. Let's see, I didn't pick out a motherboard yes, did I? No. Okay. Well, I just noticed that there are no Asus motherboards just yet. Uh, let's go with this one, the Gaming 5. And as for memory... Oh, uh, what did the Gaming 5 actually support? It supports 3200. All right, um... Let's get this one, a 500p. And that supports... Well... One of these. And I think that is actually all we need, right? So, let's see. We got CPU. We got a CPU cooler. We got a motherboard. We got memory. We got a graphics card. We got storage. We got a power supply. And a case. Yes, indeed. It sounds like we got it all. And still have a bit of money left over. That's pretty nice. Yeah, looks good to me. And you're getting an Asus N60, I think, right? Yeah. An Asus ROG Strix GeForce GTX 1060. That thing is 6 gig version. Yes, it is. Yeah. Might just be me though, but I don't feel like there should have been a 3 gig version. It was kind of confusing. I mean, having two, two, what should I say, two, two types of the same card being so very different. I mean, at uh, 1063 gigs should just have been the 1050. But uh, that's my opinion. And, I mean, it's kind of old news by now, so... Right, let's get next day delivery on all this stuff. And I think I'm going to end off this episode here. I do hope you have enjoyed it, and I hope to see you all in the next one. Until then, bye-bye!